and the health officer echoing those sentiments, saying that the county needs to take action to curb community spread of COVID-19 in Johnson County by extending a mask mandate requiring social distancing out in public places, as well as limiting the size of gatherings out in public. He recommended a uh, 50 people uh, limit or 50% capacity with some exemptions. Dr. Lamaster also suggested closing bars and restaurants by 10 o'clock, but some commissioners pushed back now considering an 11 o'clock curfew. And the doctor explained that the goal of the curfew is to prevent people from congregating for extended periods of time. This afternoon, the Board of Commissioners heard from a representative of local hospitals who also expressed the challenges that they're facing with staffing and capacity. The superintendent of Shawnee Mission School District also said they're facing tough decisions as community spread of COVID-19 impacts their staffing as well. And if we don't find a way to at least decrease the number of cases that we have, um, we will come to a point where we'd be overwhelmed and not be able to take care of our patients, both the COVID and non-COVID. We'll do our very best to keep school in session, but the reality is, and we've been messaging this, this decrease in staff is serious. And the rise of the COVID-19 cases are probably only going to exacerbate what is already, really, already a really difficult uh, problem to solve. And right now, the Board of Commissioners is listening to public comment that's been going on for over an hour now. Many people expressing concern about the potential impact that this could have to the community, especially small businesses. But the commissioners say that there are exemptions when it comes to the limits on gathering, and they include uh, churches, retailers, bars, restaurants, fitness centers, healthcare institutions, and funeral services, all exempt. But again, this is not a done deal. They are still listening to public comment and considering what actions they should take next. Reporting live in Aletha, I'm Bianca Beltran, KNBC 9 News.